For her humanitarian efforts, Best was made a member of the Order of Canada in 1974, and subsequently became an officer of the Order of Canada on this day in 1979. Carrie May Prevost was born on March 4, 1903, in New Glasgow, Nova Scotia during a time of pronounced racial discrimination. Encouraged by her parents to take pride in her heritage, she decided from a young age to refuse racial stereotypes and immerse herself in historical and literary works written by black Canadians and African Americans. In 1925, she married Albert T. E. In 1943, Best was arrested for sitting in the white-only section of New Glasgow's Roseland Theatre, an act of protest against the forcible removal of several black teens who attempted to sit there only days before. She then sued the theatre based on racial discrimination but lost the case. Her drive for equal rights was only strengthened by this event. Best founded the Clarion in 1946 to publish news by and for the nation's black community. In 1952, Best established her own radio show titled The Quiet Corner where she broadcast music and read poetry often relating to human rights for the next 12 years. Best was also a strong advocate for the rights of indigenous peoples. Best's efforts were recognized with honorary law doctorates in 1975 and 1992. The University of King's College in Halifax, one of the institutions that awarded Best, continues to carry on her legacy by offering outstanding black and indigenous Canadian students a scholarship named in her honor. Thank you for fighting for the future of marginalized people in Canada and beyond. Carrie Best. Guest artist Q&A with Alexis Eek Today's Doodle was illustrated by Toronto, Ontario, Canada-based guest artist Alexis Eek. Below, she shares her thoughts behind the making of this doodle. Q. Why was this topic meaningful to you personally? A. With Carrie Best making such a huge impact in her field as a black woman, breaking many barriers for black women in Canada it inspired me to do the same in the industry that I am in. What were your first thoughts when you were approached about working on this doodle? A. I was extremely excited. I think it's safe to say that many illustrators dream of doing a Google Doodle, so getting the opportunity to do one was almost unbelievable. I was also really excited to share my artistic style with such a large audience. Q. Did you draw inspiration from anything in particular for this doodle? A. I drew inspiration from Carrie Best's Nova Scotian background with the landscape. Although I've never been to Nova Scotia, I could imagine many scenic places with fresh wind blowing in all directions. I tried to emulate that with newspapers flying around the illustration. Q. What message do you hope people take away from your doodle? A. The message I hope people take away from my doodle, is that the bold decision of one person has the power to impact many, if not millions of people. Early drafts of the doodle. Like, share and subscribe to Doodle Catalog.